Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought I'd show you how to make some origami hearts. Now these are these are just what I found on Pinterest, so I thought I'd show you how to do it. Um, and I've just um, tweaked it a little bit, and I've made them into some paper clips because um, I know how we love paper clips. And these are sort of like three in one. So you've got a paper clip, you've got a little pocket here, and you've got a little tuck here. Okay, so let me just show you. Let me have a look. So here we've got a little tuck underneath here, like that. So that's in between the two. Um, and then we've got a little pocket in this middle bit here. So that can be either side, so depending on your word or what you want to pop in. Um, and then we've got the paper clip, which paper clips just onto a little bit of card like that so we've got like a three in one and i thought they were really really pretty and really easy to make so i'm going to show you how i did it let's have a quick look at some of these first so what i've done i've used some of my butterflies so it'll give you an idea of, of things to use um, the butterflies on um, so this one's i've just made out of um, book paper um, so that's really easy pops a little bit of um, cheesecloth and bits of fabric underneath and pop the butterfly on there this one I've covered up the whole thing so you can have the pocket in the front or you can't um, so it's entirely up to you but I thought that looked really pretty this one again I've just used one of the blue butterflies and I've just added a little bit of glitter onto that so they're really easy peasy to make and I think they just look so nice on a look lovely on a journal um, or again you can pop it onto a gift card all sorts of things you can use them for um, this one here is a nice big one this is made um, I can't remember this one's made out of six by six paper so that's how big it is so you need a square piece of paper on this butterfly what I've done I can see if you can see it's sort of like a bit shiny all as I've done is added some liquid pearls on top of it and this is white opal I just put a few drops on and then rubbed it in with my finger and it's given that lovely shiny opal look to it and then just a little bit of um, glitter around the outside and then a bit of cheesecloth and then again you've got the little tuck up underneath there so I just thought these are so pre pretty this one I've doubled up one of the butterflies so it's sort of like a nice little 3D butterfly so that's really pretty this one I popped three of them on and I thought those three purple ones go perfect few little bits of um, bling on there as well um, and then this is just a little one which is a little plain one with a tiny little pocket in there so I'm going to show you how I've made these and it's quite quite simple so what you need to do I'm going to show you first let's take these pieces out and then I'll make one and decorate one so what you need to do is take your piece of paper this is six by six so use any paper you like obviously the thinner the better but you don't have to this is just um, scrapbook paper anyway so well, what we're going to do is just fold it in half so you want to see be able to see the pattern side okay and then fold it the other way like that let me make sure I'm in shot so there we go so we folded it both ways and then you take it and you fold this piece into the middle so you've got your middle line so we fold that up into the middle like that and then we turn it over just so you've got the this bit at the bottom and turn it over and then you want to fold this up into the middle so make sure we've got a nice line there fold this up like that along with your middle line like that and you can take your bone folder if you like or something to flatten it out nicely then take this side so this is what's going to make the pocket in the in the middle this front piece here so obviously you want to get it as close as possible and nice and neat like that and then i'll just flatten that down like that okay and then we turn it over like that and then this point needs to go up to the middle there so we need to fold that up into the middle like that and flatten this piece down like that and then we'll just fold that flat okay 
and then we turn it over so we've got that and then these two little pieces here you want to just pop your finger inside like that and then just press that down okay so then you've got your little little triangle there like that and again on this side pop your thumb in there and push that down like that okay and then these little bits you want to just fold over just fold over so they're in just sort of like in in line with the that little bottom bit there just a little triangle like that so when you turn it over like that that looks like a heart so what we need to do now is just just pinch a little bit off the top and fold it down like that just a little bit not too much you can see just a tiny bit like that and there we go we've got your lovely little heart there and then we want to fold this piece in like that so then we're level with the bottom if you turn it over that's level with the bottom like that flatten that down a bit again on this side we just fold this in like that so we're level with that side not to be really level with this bottom piece really fold that down okay so there we go so that's our lovely heart now what I'm doing I'm sticking these down because we don't want them popping up now I just want to show you I've all just a couple of glues I've been looking at some glues because I've been ordering um, off Amazon and they won't deliver some glues to Portugal so I found a site um, which is in Spain and it's a next day delivery and it's absolutely fantastic so I'm really really pleased so this is Tonic Studios and this is just the, the crafty tacky glue um, it's very very similar to Anita's glue um, I wouldn't say there was any difference at all um, so this is fantastic for me um, so I can get that and this one I've got which is a Stamperia one and it's fantastic now this is what I would call the equivalent to 3-in-1 or Fabri-Tac it's amazing it's really really strong um, and if you look here I've stuck it down this bow on it and it's really strong if I wanted to pull it I would pull the paper off and it's amazing really really good because you can use it on fabric as well this is a little bit smelly so you really need to use it if you're if you don't like the smell of glues this is probably not the one for you um, but it's amazing really really love it and I think this is probably the one that I will have to swap to because I can't get the three-in-one or the fabric hat to be sent to Portugal so um, and for a, I'm gonna pop a link to the shop anyway so if any of you are in Europe um, you can try them out because I think there was a shop this is the shop that was in Barcelona but I do believe they have a shop in Seville which is Seville is only a couple of hours away from me so I think that's probably why it was next day delivery and the delivery is a really cheap so I'm very very impressed with this shop so I'm really really pleased and the glues are brilliant so if you can test it out right so now I've got I've just stuck those two little bits down and I'm going to stick these bits in because we're making it into um, a paper clip we don't want any of these um, popping up so I'm just going to stick that down and I'm going to stick this side down as well like this and the outside that down nicely and there we go okay perfect so that sticks so well really really quick right so then we've got like that so you can actually leave it like that some of them that I've seen have been left like that and you can just pop it on if you just wanted it as a page topper like that like that okay but what I've done I'm going to fold these bits in like this so they're level with that bit so then you take this bit and you fold that piece in like that okay so on the back they just folded like that and I'm going to 
open these up and glue these down again. A little bit there, a little bit there, so that we can stick this down. Like that. And there we go. So we've got our little tuck here, like that, and we've got the little pockets either side. We can get in there like that so you've got the little pocket to stick things in and obviously it's going to be either side so that's like that and then i'm going to pop paper clip on the back now let me have a look i've got a piece of cheese stain paper here but you can use whatever you like so i'm going to pop paper clip onto here and again i always use the smaller bit on the outside and then I'm going to just do it on here, just sort of like these are above. Because obviously if you do that, the paper clip's going to be there. You'd have to be cutting this bit out. So I'm just sticking it on like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this along here. Like this. Stick this on top. Make sure your paper clip is in the middle. That. Stick that down. It's really, really sticky stuff. And then we just cut around it. Like this. There we go. And then we have one lovely little heart paper clip. And that will just let me go. What did I do with that piece of card? There it is. And that just pops on there like that. And then you've got another one that just sticks up inside like that. I think they're really lovely. So I'm going to go through that again for you. Um, but it's very quick, very easy. And then you just decorate them however you like. So what we're going to do, we're going to go for a nice purpley one like this so this is six by six let's measure that yep so this is a six by six piece of paper again obviously just as long as you've got a square piece of paper they'll all come out the same so these are obviously i've used smaller bits of paper so we want to fold it in so put your pattern side down and then fold it over so you go in half like that and then you want to open it up, turn it round, and then go in half again this way, like that. And then you want to take this piece, or whichever side, but depends on which way your pattern goes as well. Fold it up into the middle. Go into the middle, like that. Okay. So we've got it like that and then turn it over and then you want to fold this up into that middle line like that just follow your middle line get your bow folder and just fold it down this side comes up again so we've got a nice little triangle there like that and then we want to turn it over and then this point goes up to there so this point goes into the middle so find your middle bit like that and just push this down so we flatten this piece down like that and then turn it over and then these pieces here so just pop your thumb in there, easy if you pop your thumb in there, and then just push that down, like that. And then again this side, just pop your thumb in there, and push that down. So you end up with that, and then these little corners here, that just folds in, like that. So it's level with that one, a little triangle. So 
you've got those and then you just fold that little top piece over like that and then this piece comes over like that so you just bend the tops over just so you've got like a little heart shape and there we go okay turn it over again and we want to fold these pieces in like that so again it's here so you want to fold to this line here so I'll fold that right in like that and try and have this piece level with the bottom like that I can get it level and again with this side just fold that piece in fold it down oops so there we go now what I'm going to do I'm going to glue these pieces down Just glue those top two little top pieces there that we bent over like that. Oops. Just a tiny, tiny bit of glue in there because this is really sticky. Just stick it down, and then you just want to glue these little flaps in like that. and then this side as well so you can use any papers and I think the book papers look quite nice as well you want to try and get not the very fragile book papers you want to get a bit of a thicker one if you can so if you're doing a sort of vintage style book it would be a um, vintage style journal it would look really nice because of the book pages on here. I think they look really lovely. Okay, so there we go. So that's all glued. And now we need to fold these two in. So if you turn it upside down, and just it's easier to do it like that. And just fold these in. I find it easier to do from the front because you can see if it's level here. Like that. So you can just see like that. that down so it's nice and flat and I'm just going to glue these bits down there we are and squash them down so it's all stuck down nicely and there we go now you can just leave them like that if you want to and just pop it on top of the page like that. So it's entirely up to you. Um, so they're really nice, but just a little bit more. I think they're a little bit loose on here. This opens up a little bit too much and I think they would eventually sort of like be a bit too loose to stay on the page. Um, but I think if you put them with a paper clip and something in and you close the book on them, um, to hold a little journaling card in I think they would stay probably better right so I've got my little paper clip I'm going to use this again so again I'm going to pop that on there and then what we do we just make sure that can go in the middle like that pop some glue onto here like this make sure it's all the way around the edges let me know if any of you use this glue um, and see what you think about it as well I'd be quite intrigued to know because I've never used it before but I really do I'm quite liking it so let's stick that down pop the lid back on the only thing is the lid, I might end up losing that, so I've got to be careful. Right, so then we just sniff it all the way round. Sorry, I've got my window open so you can hear the cars and stuff outside. 
beautiful day here it is absolutely gorgeous so there we go there's your paper clip if you want to do you don't have to use you can use the same paper if you've got the same paper pop the same paper on the back um, it might look a little bit prettier so there we go so we've got the little where's my little card we've got the little tuck there and then we've got the clip on with the paper clip like that and then we've got the little pocket on the inside like that I'm not going to use the pocket on this one I think I might just use my beautiful purple butterfly on the front I think I might actually just double these up and pop them on um, so I'm going to use a little bit of cheesecloth like that it just just love cheesecloth. I think it just gives that nice little shabby feel to about it. I'll just pop a little bit of this underneath as well. A little bit of texture. So a little bit of glue. Stick that on there like that. Can have it hanging off just a little bit. And then we want a little bit just to hold the cheesecloth on scrunch it up can't really see that underneath let's just scrunch that up like that pull that bit down there we go now these I'm just going to just get a little bit of the vintage photo ink just because where I've cut it out you can just see the white of the page I did actually print these up with a slight blue background on the back um, but again if you were going to use them so they come off the edges you can always print on a coloured piece of paper or not a coloured piece of paper well, I suppose you could um, print another um, blank sort of or a pattern paper on the back so you could see it so if they're coming off the side and you look you can see another pattern on the back of it so now I'm going to just bend the wings just a little bit like that and on this one just curl them just to give it a little bit of dimension on just down here again you don't have to use butterflies you can use whatever you like to decorate them I just loving these butterflies at the moment so I'm going to just put that on hold that down like that just to make sure it's stuck a little bit on here just like that and pop this one in there too just like that that gives you a lovely dimension to your butterflies look at that doesn't that look pretty really really pretty and again then you can add all your little bits of bling on here um, I'm going to end up losing this lid, I know. So I've made this. This is a little tray that I've got. I was going to throw it out. It's not a tray, actually. It's, it's what my glue comes in. I buy this glue like this, and these just stick on the top like that. So that was my glass one. So these fit in there perfect upside down. It's just that I need something to put them in. And I've got my ice cream container like that. Oops just sits across it perfect I need to sort of like make sure it stays in place I think I might need to make a little box or something right so I'm going to use a little bit of this which is stardust so I'm just going to pop a little bit down the middle like that and again just a few little bits on the wings like this just tiny little bit around the edges 
Well, it depends where you're going to pop these, if you're going to use the stick with glitter glue or not. I just think it adds a nice little, nice little touch to your butterflies. And there we go. Doesn't that look pretty? Really, really pretty. Okay, so there we go, guys. Let me get my piece of card. That sits on there like that. So we've got a little um, paper clip and we've got a little tuck spot in, in there. And then again, like I said before, you've got the little pocket. So you could put a butterfly on this side or something on this side or some beautiful flowers. Lots of you have got lots of um, fussy cut things that you're going to pop on there. That's more like a man's one because that's got like little anchors on it. So that could go in a men's journal. Um, and then pop a little saying in between. Like these. So that can go in there like that. And then one of the little word ones, which I have my great big bundle of them here. So we can put peace. Look at that. Fits in there perfectly. I think they're a really nice addition to anything. Any of your scrapbooks or junk journals or again you can pop that onto a lovely little gift bag you could also as well here if you made a little hole just in the top one just in that top layer you could have a little dingly dangly hanging off it as well which would look quite nice wouldn't it so there's all sorts of ways you can use them but that is just a basic origami heart and then you just jazz it up a little bit with all your little bits and pieces so there we go guys I hope you enjoyed that I hope you're going to give it a go because it's very very simple um, and um, I'd love to see them on my Facebook group and there we are all right guys thank you so much for joining me have a lovely lovely rest of the day and I will see you soon all right take care bye bye